say, brother? Romans chapter 7 and verse 14. What does the Bible say? For we know that the law is spiritual. We know that the law is spiritual. But I am carnal, so under sin. Uh-huh. We know that the law is spiritual. But we are carnal because of our sin. That's right. Read. Romans chapter 7, verse 22. Read what the Bible say, brother. For I delight in the law. For I what? Delight in the law. No, the church say the law is done away with. For I delight in the law. Uh-huh, read. Of Yahweh. Of who? Of Yahweh. Of Yahweh. After the inward man. After the inward man. See? After the inward man. Read. All right, now let's get it together. God is a good God. And he's always that. He ain't always that way all the time. All depend on how we live in our life. It's how we get treated by the Most High God. That's right. Read. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Read what the Bible say. Whosoever commits sin. Whosoever commits sin. Transgresses also the law. Transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is what? Sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of God's law. That is in the New Testament. Just in case y'all holler about the Old Testament is done away with. That's we right. giving it to you in the New Testament. That's right. Because the New Testament is the Old Testament regurgitated. Everything in the New Testament comes from the Old Testament. Read the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. Read what the Bible say, brother. Think not that I come to destroy the law. God did not come to destroy the law. Are the prophets. Or us. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He came to fulfill the law. He came to fulfill the law of sacrifice. We ain't got to be sacrificing no animals no more. Because right. the Hawashah became the perfect sacrifice. Am I right, brother? That's right. Khan. Read. And Salakia. And he also came to fulfill the prophecies about him in the Old Testament. And he came to fulfill the prophecy that he talked about in the New Testament as well, in the book of Acts, chapter 3 and 18. It tells us what he came for, that they may be fulfilled. Read. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7 and 8. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. It'll change your life. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Uh huh. Making wise the simple. It will make the simple minded more with wisdom. The it will give you those things when you do what God tells you to do. The statutes of the Lord are right. Everything in this Bible is right. Rejoice in the heart. It'll make you happy. The commandment of the Lord is pure. The commandment of the Lord is pure, unblemished. Enlightening the eyes. Enlightening the eyes. Book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. Read. I delight to do thy will. Uh-huh. What is the Lord's will? Keeping the law. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh-huh. Yea, thy law is within my heart. The law is God's will. They want to keep you in sin, telling you that the laws are done away with. When the Bible tells you that God's laws is his will for your life. That's right. If you keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, you shall have life and you shall not die a second death. Read. Psalms chapter 68 verse 11. Read. The Lord gave the word. Who gave the word? The Lord gave the word. No, they heard about the white man wrote the Bible. The Lord gave the word. This Bible condemned the white man. Read. Great was the company of those that published it. All those prophets and everybody. And the people, the 
believers in the New Testament, they was the company that the Most High is talking about. That's right. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 78 and verse 5. Read, brother. For he established a testimony in Jacob. He established a testimony in Jacob. And appointed a law in Israel. And I gave the laws to Israel. Which he have commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. That they should keep these law statutes and commandments to their children. That's and right. they won't be laying out in the streets dead. Because that's why they're out there laying in the streets dead, homeless, holding their enemy head. That's right. Because they haven't been taught the law statutes and commandments by their wicked parents. Three. Precept, the book of Psalms, chapter 81, in verse 5. Read, brother. This he ordained in Joseph uh -huh. for a testimony. For what? Testimony. Uh -huh. When he went out through the land of Egypt. When he went where? The land of, of Egypt. Egypt. Because his brother sold him in the, in the slavery. Read. Where I heard a language that I understood not. Uh-huh. See? Read. Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Read that, brother. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. And thy law is the truth. Know this truth. Know these commandments so that you can live through righteousness. Because that's what the laws are, are righteousness. Read, my brother. Know him. How do we know that we know God, brother? 
If we keep his commandments. If we do what? Keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. He that saith I know him. If you say you know God. And keep it not his commandments. And don't keep his commandments. Is a liar. And the truth is not in him. The Bible say you a liar and the truth is not in you if you don't keep his commandments. That's what the Bible say. That's right. But your preacher ain't going to tell you that. Because he's already sold out to white supremacy. Come on. That's what's happening. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Read that, brother. For this is the love of God. What is the love of God, brother? That we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep, keep his, his commandments. Turn your back if you want to, but you better keep these commandments. That's keep right. his commandments. Uh-huh. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not hard to do. That's right. Don't turn your back on the Most High God like you've been doing all your life. Come back to God where he can start hearing your cry. But until then, you're going to remain a wicked person just like the place where you live, America. Wicked. Read. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. Read, brother. I know thy works and tribulation uh-huh. and poverty, uh-huh. but thy are rich. We rich because we got an opportunity for the kingdom. And I know the blasphemy. I know the lies of them which say, which all say they are Jews. I know the lies of them white boys that holler about they are the Jews. And are not. But they are not. What are they, brother? But are the synagogues of Satan. They are the synagogues of Satan. And they are liars. And God is going to destroy them. Mm. Read. The book of Revelations. Chapter 21 and verse 12. Read. And had a wall. Great and high. High was it? It was what, brother? Great and high. high. Read. And had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 okay. gates. I thought it was one big old pearl the gate that the Christian line tell you about. And at the gates, 12 angels. 12 black angels. And names written thereon. That was names on those gates. That's why it's very important to know who you are, what tribe you come from. Because you got to know what door, what gate to go in. You can't go in the wrong gate. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. It's the name of what, brother? Twelve tribes of the children of Israel. It's the name of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel That's on right. those twelve gates. There ain't nobody up. And your preacher ain't gonna tell you that in the church. Because he want to keep you dumb. All he want is your tithe money. He don't want nothing else. He don't even care about your salvation because he don't care about his. If he did, he wouldn't be teaching you a line, docile doctrine That's that right. he's teaching today. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Read. Bless all they that do his commandments. Uh-huh. That they may have right Read. to the tree of life. To the tree of life. And may enter and do the gates into the city. That's what the Bible says. That's the only way that you're going to get into the kingdom. If you keep these commandments. Ain't nothing about no, I'm on my dying bed and all of a sudden I'm going to say, God forgive me. That's a lie. It ain't nowhere in the Bible where it say that. Just like it ain't nowhere in the Bible where it say, come as you are. That's, right. That's a lie too. You can't find one script in the Bible where it say, come as you are. Uh, That's a big lie. The book of John. Read. Chapter 14. In verse 15. Read, brother. In red letters. This is your Howard shop, who you ignorantly call Jesus. If ye love me. The Bible say, Jesus say, if you love me. Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. That's in the New Testament, you Christianity people, because you're not Christian. Christian means people that follow That's God. Right. Christianity is a man-made doctrine. And God. who made it? The white man. God. Read. Four, chapter 4 and verse 14. Uh-huh. The sower soweth the word. We are the sower. We sow in the word of the most high God. And these are they by the wayside. Uh-huh. Where the word is sown. You ever been around?
time when the word is sown, what happens, brother? But, but when they have heard Satan coming immediately, Satan come immediately, and taking away the word that was sown in their heart, that Satan always comes and try to take away the word that has been given to the brothers and sisters. That's right. He's always rude. He don't know anything. He hate God. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, and verse 26. Read this, because everybody hollering by day from Africa. You ain't from no Africa. Read. But Jerusalem. But who? Jerusalem. But where? Jerusalem. But Jerusalem. Which is above is free. Uh-huh. Which is the mother of us all. All you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians. Jerusalem is your homeland, not no stinking Africa. We ain't no stinking Africa. Africa sold us. We're along with the Arab to the white man for guns and wine and everything else you can name. Read. Baptist chapter 19, verse 16. What does it say, brother? And behold, one came and said unto him, What did he say? Good master. Good who? Good master. Uh-huh. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Uh-huh. And he said unto him, Why calleth thou me good? He said, Why calleth thou me good? Even though he had did no sin, he was perfect. He gave all respect and honor to the Father. There is none good, but... One. Uh huh. That is God. That is who? That is God. Read. But if thy wealth enter into life. If I want to enter in life, what shall I do, brother? Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. If I want to enter into life, I got to keep the commandment. That's what the Bible say. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. This is what you should be listening to today. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. The Bible says remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. To separate it from any other day. That's right. That's what it says. Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. To separate it from all other days. That's what the Bible says. But you want to go over to Walmart shopping, buying, selling, and defaming God's day. That's why you're going to hell. That's why you got all these problems in the world today. Because right. you disrespect God. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Read. And uh, even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage. You're going to discontinue from your heritage. You don't even know who you are. That I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thy enemy. And you're going to be serving your enemy because you're defaming everything that God tells you. You don't keep no law, statutes, and commandments and God is going to punish you by putting you in the authority of your enemy. In the land which thou knowest not. Even this land over here when you came here, you don't know this land. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. You made God mad. Which shall burn forever. And it shall burn forever. That's what's going to happen. You're going to burn forever. Because you've tended a fire in God. That's right. 